Hi, welcome. This is Wayne Miller, Wayne Miller Photography, uh, with some Lightroom tips for you. Today, we're going to export uh, several images from Lightroom uh, up to uh, a JPEG to put on Facebook. And we'll go through a step by step process. So we'll go to Grid View. Uh, we want to pick uh, several images to export. Uh, we can either right click to get to the export menu or we can hit export right here and that will bring the export uh, menu. <clears throat> you can see I've got several several presets here so uh, let's uh, you can name this file the way you want it. You want to export it to the hard drive. We'll start at the top here. We want to uh, yeah, we we'll want to export it to the hard drive. We're going to export it to the desktop. We've got several choices here. A uh, specific folder, but I want to put it on my desktop because it's easier to find when you want to upload it. You want to put it in the subfolder of Facebook. You type that in there. You can uh, leave the images loose. I put it in a folder. It's easier to find it. You want to rename your images. you got different choices here. Uh, I generally like to, when anything I put on the web, I like to have my uh, studio name in there. Wayne Miller Photography, start at number one. Uh, image format, JPEG. Color space, sRGB, because it's going on the internet. Quality at 100. Uh, size to fit, make the longest edge six inches. You can make it any size you want, but uh, generally for something on the web, six inch, you know, four to six inch uh, is fine. Resolution, I'll leave it 240. Native resolution for uh, Lightroom is fine. Sharpen for screen, standard. Metadata, leave all that on, remove local info if you want. Watermark, okay, so. Uh, there's a couple simple copyright watermarks on there, but let's just look at edit watermark. You can see right down here, uh, I've got um, a, a PNG that's on there, and that's the name of that. So if you try a black strip, uh, you know, center release, it'll put your name across there. Uh, for me, uh, I prefer uh, right hand corner. Uh, you've got several choices here for anchoring where you want uh, your logo. Uh, if you need to make a logo, uh, I'd suggest making a, a PNG in Photoshop. And logo, probably something about four inches wide and about two inches high works uh, pretty well. And <clears throat> make it a PNG because that way it's transparent. JPEG will have a uh, a white or a black background on it. It's, it's uh, just the format. Uh, opacity I like about 50%. If you go 100, it's pretty bright. I don't want to distract that much from the image, but I do want my uh, my logo on there. Uh, it just um, some people don't put their logos on there, but I believe that your logo ought to be on anything that goes up on the internet. And then the size proportion, you can zoom in zoom out there I generally leave it like 15 to 20 percent you know you can fit it to that thing you can fill it uh, or you can size it and then on the uh, you got your anchor point whether you want it upper right upper left bottom center uh, I prefer mine down here and then you can move it in uh, in and out up and down whatever you want so I'm going to cancel out of that but once you do that you save it and then you save the name on there okay so and <clears throat> now we've got everything on there we want to add this preset to Lightroom so we don't have to go through and redo this all again so um, you're going to pick a folder let's just call it uh, Facebook and we'll put it uh, under whatever folder you want, uh, JPEG exports. And that's a preset name. You create it and you look back up here. Now you have that preset. So if we go down to here, uh, all this changes. 
but when you click back on Facebook, you see everything that you prearranged does that. So we hit export, and it's going to tell me whether you already have those in there because I did this already. So you can uh, you can override the ones in there, or you can use uh, unique names. Now, if you if you keep this folder full. And you keep adding ones in there because of the default, it's always going to start at one. Just use a unique name. And we can see right up here in the top left corner, uh, Lightroom's exporting it. And now we'll look to the desktop in our Facebook file. And Here's the images. Here's the uh, the one that was already in there, and this is the one that's renamed. Eh, what a handsome brute, eh? Okay. So I hope that you found this uh, tutorial helpful. Uh, this is Wayne Miller signing off, and see you next time.